Hi guys, today I'm going to be looking at the Kubuntu 1404 release. This is the release candidate. The final uh, version should be out in one or two days, I believe. So um, I just installed this. This is a fresh install. This is what your desktop will look like right after the install. The whole install process took me about like 20 minutes. Uh, just very simple settings and um, then it will just copy all the files. Very easy, very straightforward. Uh, really nothing you can do wrong. So let's look at the uh, changes. Uh, what's new in 14.04? Of course we have all the KDE applications uh, have been updated. The whole KDE platform has been updated. A lot of the bug fixes here and there. A uh, rather major change is we now have Firefox as our default browser. Uh, the software center has been updated. Other than that, a whole lot of other applications have been updated. You can see here Network Manager, uh, KDE Connect, the IRC client, the notifications. Everything has had some updates, but overall, no major uh, changes we're seeing here. It's really more uh, updates and bug fixes. So for those of you unaware, this is a LTS long-term support release, which means you'll be receiving updates on this for five years. So this is great distro if you're looking uh, to make a install that you want to keep for a while because you'll have updates for five years and don't have to worry about anything. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with KDE, just let me show you a little bit. Down here in the bottom, we have all the active uh, tasks that are running similar to a default Windows install. And on the bottom left, we have the application launcher. You can access like your favorite applications or favorite files and folders from here. And of course, application menu and settings menu, really easy. Um, everything in nice categories. Of course, we can also access like removable devices, USB sticks, external hard drives and such, and access remote network shares and things like that and we can shut down the whole machine from here. So if you're coming from Windows, this should be fairly familiar. Um, let's just right away take a look at the software center. I'm not a big fan of it. It still looks kind of like it's in beta. Um, even on the regular Ubuntu, the Unity release, not a big fan of it. Uh, it works, but it still definitely needs some improving. Uh, it's still all kind of sluggish. I click here, nothing's happening. It takes forever. Um, it really needs some improvement, but it's usable. Don't get me wrong, you know, it's usable uh, and you shouldn't have that many problems with it. Now, let me show you also the desktop. Um, if you're not familiar with it, KDE allows a lot of widgets and it's really easy to add new widgets. Just right click on the desktop, go and add widgets. We have a ton of widgets pre-installed here. Um, I'll just add the calculator and the calendar right here. You can easily uh, resize them, manage them, drag them around, uh, delete them. Really, really easy. Nothing you can do wrong. And this right here, this is like a file folder view. If you uh, go to Dolphin, which is the file explorer default, go on desktop, create a new file here you'll see it will pop up on the desktop in this folder view. So that's pretty cool, works great. Other than that, I gotta say, this whole release feels really good, real fast. It's all snappy. I didn't have any slowdowns or lags or anything like that. Also, uh, flash support, it's been great. Everything working like it should. Can also do full screen here, not a problem at all. Everything works flawless. Um, I highly recommend installing VLC player so you can play back all your video files. I had uh, some problems with the default video player on here, but just install VLC and you can play pretty much any format that you're looking for. So uh, I got to say overall solid release we have here. Um, of course, KDE is probably not the best choice if you're running on really old hardware with not that many memory or a slow CPU, uh, probably off of other distro. But if you have a, well, new PC to not that old PC, uh, you should be fine with this release. If you like KDE, if you like the whole look and feel, this is a great release for you, a great distro for you. 
So if you have any questions, uh, just leave me a comment. I'll try to answer them. And that's it for now. I hope you take a look at my other uh, distro reviews. And uh, thank you for watching.